Yeah, somehow the followers of the Apocalypse ended up with one of the most well-defensible buildings in the entire region. Even though they are not a violent group. Hello. NCR Special Forces Veteran. Nice armor. And you are... NCR Special Forces Heavy Trooper. Yeah, NCR has um, gathered some power armor and their special forces uh, that guard vital interests for them. Obviously, get a set of it. Quite nice, I might add. I would hate to have to do combat with one of them, because as you saw earlier, they completely mutilated me. Brutalized me in a way that, so far, most um, creatures in the game haven't been able to do. Oh, yeah. Hang on. What the fuck are you? Holy shit. A flesh meatball thing. A rad horror. Kinda scared me. Gonna pop like a zit. There's a flying leap towards our face. We duck underneath him. And I think we'll be fine. All types of weird stuff around the wasteland now. Who knows where it's gonna come crawling out of. But I wanna go get Rex, dang it, wherever he is in here. I know he's somewhere around. You won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Yeah, those king babies ran away. Probably gonna be pretty laggy in here too. <clears throat> My game doesn't lag too bad until I start recording. Um, I hate to say it, but if oh, I don't really want to do it, but if the game continues to drop to such a, a horrible frame rate, I may actually start recording at half resolution, like I did with Runes need of some DC. Grub. I got you covered. Cheap and filling. I actually do need some grub. Serve me something. You won't regret it. At least until an hour or so from now. I'll set my watch. Um, crispy squirrel bits. I'm gonna buy six of those. Three gecko steaks. Um, mole rat stew. That sounds good. 30 grams of protein. Oh goodness. And s 10 squirrels on a stick. Let's see. 302 caps for a decent amount of food. I'll buy it. I don't know when else I'm gonna get to be able to get rid of these wonderful caps burning a hole in my pocket. All the cars are back, because I didn't harvest them this time. I may do that at some point, if I need more scrap. I'll probably do most of my scrap gathering in this place off-camera, too, by the way. Mojave Express Drop Box. Drop boxes like this one can be used to deliver items to any express drop box that you've discovered. Once you find an express drop box, just activate it, and you'll be able to use that location to send and receive items. I'm um, kind of like having a mobile stockpile. Not too terribly bad, but I don't like the idea of a mobile stockpile. I may try to use it just to see how it works. I don't know. It gives me that funny, dirty feeling. Where are you at, Rex? Am I getting closer to you? Uh, fine. We'll fast travel over here. Where it looks like he's at. Could go say hi to the king. Still haven't used my favor with him yet. Rex is... You know what? I bet Rex is up at the, uh, the 38. I know. I passed my credit check. I got my face on profile. Scan me and I'm good to go. I wouldn't pass that credit check right now if they checked me. Hey, there's Rex. I see his robo-brain. Come on, boy. Follow me. We got some action waiting for us out there. Don't go brain dead on me, please. And you know what? Let's change some of his settings. Be aggressive. No, I want you to be passive. I want you to stay close. So yeah, that's all good then. Talk to... We can talk to Rex. How you feeling, boy? So, I guess he's feeling pretty good today. We're staying here for a while. Have a look around if you like. Um, I don't want him to wait here. I don't. Yeah, I don't want him to wait here. I'm still working on getting you fixed. You know. We're gonna be heading to Jacobstown soon before they hate me. I want to take a closer look at you. Pant, pant, pant. I want to see what wonderful technology you've got inside. Examine the painting of the bull on Rex's side. Yeah, let's examine that. The paint, though weathered and fading, is still a recent addition to pissing you off because we've cycled through too quick. Examine Rex's brain case. Rex's brain looks sickly, and the gel in which it's contained doesn't look much better. God damn, they don't make that wait very long. 
a speed reader. Review it in the video. Examine his mechanical parts. Rex's bodywork is battered, scorched, and scratched. It's remarkable that the that the biological part of him survived at all. Uh, you're still good to go, though, Rex. You'll make it. Um, let's see. Let's trade equipment. It's time for us to part ways. I can't trade any equipment with him. Um, no. I guess that's it. Tell me if you have anything to say about the area, boy. We will, before we head out here, we're going to fast travel back to the, the north gate. We're going to eat some food. Let's see. Have... How about two gecko steaks? And purified water and a nuka cola to wash it all down. Our protein is going to go through the roof here. <sighs> have I tried to go through this gate here, the south gate? I don't believe I have. <laughs> Whole bunch of NCR troopers standing around the hookers dancing outside. Have I went in here? I don't think I've actually went inside the Gamora. Did I go in here, guys? Um, let's do that real quick. Before we go go out to kill Tom Quigley and chop his dirty little finger off for the crimes he's committed. Um, yeah. We'll see what type of entertainment the Gamora has to offer us. Ah, delicious tea. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry oh, guns fuck. into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Here you go. Never mind, I'll be back. Get, get the fuck out of here, he says. I will, because I don't want to have to reset up my hotkeys. Let's, let's make sure that I don't have to. Good, I don't. Completed. Observe a Morta. I didn't really observe them, but okay. Yeah, we'll go back in there later whenever I, I, I feel like I'm continuing stuff here in the strip. Oh yeah, this is the gate. Way down here. That I want to examine. <clears throat> Don't mind me, security bots. Vault 21 is over here. Is it an actual vault? A casino built over the top of a vault by chance? That would be swell. Nice building there. So there's the NCR base. What are you, just a regular Securitron? This is Vault 21? Vault 21 gift store. Oh, where's the majestic entrance? Let's see, Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah, Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. Pleasure to meet you. Let's see, what kind of things do you sell in this gift shop? I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Do you have a vault around here by chance? Um, let's see, can you show me what you got? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. I got these great lunch boxes. They're super. What else? Better come with oh, a thermos, oh, look damn at these it. toasters. You like toast, right? If they're crunchy, even better. What about a vintage Vault Tech toy car? Ooh, or I'm into toy cars. Let's see. Stop, stop right there. Do you actually have any vault gear? Quit yapping. Um, wait, wait. Do you actually have this stuff? Okay, I do, but who wants a lame sensor module or a nitrogen canister anyway? All the popular stuff has been sold, especially the vault suits. I need to find more because people buy them like hotcakes. Leather suits are good times. Thinking about that just blows my top. Leather vault suits? Um, I might help you out. What do you need exactly? You would? You, you better really reimburse would? me. That would help me a lot. Uh, work don't come free. Let's see, barter. I'll also bring you boomer suits you can fix and sell them. I don't know what the hell a boomer suit is. Uh, apparently... I'm not even close to being able to barter for it anyway, so all right, consider it done. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're an angel. I can't wait to see you again. What about those sensor modules and nitrous canisters you were teasing me with? Vault 21 guest terminal. Let's see. Services. Diner menu. Enjoy our pre-war classic diner with the following meals. Breakfast. Asphartame. Sugar bombs. Give the youngins an early boost. Real corn flour pancakes would make make Monfanto Co. proud. I don't know what that's a a, a an little whatever too. Savory iguana sausages. No, we only cook female iguanas. Nice, I like that. And for lunch, mosquito flavored Casador wings. Get back at them with spice. 
applesauced gecko stew, so good you'll crawl up the wall, and creamy mac and cheese. Your wife will stop asking for clam chowder. For dinner, we're serving Brahmin sirloin on blue bighorn cheese. Even Gandhi couldn't set this one out. Yum yum deviled eggs over pork and beans. Go out tonight with a bang. And grilled mantis claw and pignon nuts. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Has he been for too long in Gomorrah? Give him gonorrhea instead. Gift catalog, let's see. Yeah, let's see. Crunch of yesterday and today's bread. Real leather with real attire. Vault 21 was a leather vault, maybe. Stacked with 200 years of good luck. Card decks, straight from Vault 21. Sensor modules, see them coming from a mile away. Or build robots, if you've got other parts. Pool sets. I need pool sets. I need uh, more cue balls. Nitrogen canisters. Laugh it all out. Quit being so pent up. Pre-war toy cars. Toys, yes, but these still run. Be elite. Own everything. Let's see. Vault 21 guest services. Courtesy intercom wake-up calls. Laundry facilities. Guided tours. Strip-style poker lessons. Room service. Network access. Um, not a bad place, it sounds like, then. What is the history of Vault 21? Never heard of it. A paradise of equality. Vault 21 has a story unlike any other nuclear fallout shelter. You're about to learn why. It's common knowledge that some vaults were built and organized with motives that went beyond their function. As safeguards of our last great hope. The hope that humanity would survive even the worst catastrophe imaginable. Nuclear war. Vault 21 was one of these experimental vaults. In the spirit of Las Vegas, our vault was built and organized around gambling. Everything you will see here follows the idea that humans can coexist and organize their lives based on the principle that skill is the only factor that should tip the blind balance held by Lady Luck. We embodied the perfect equilibrium between self-reliance and social equality. Each level of Vault 21 was symmetrically and transparent. Each room looked exactly like the next, and every gambling place was built in plain sight so that no person would have advantage over another. Thanks to this, quarrels in our society were solved from an equal starting ground. The best one, just like our American dream promised so long ago. After 200 years of living in harmony, we finally awoke to the nature of the outside world, when Mr. House, in his able wisdom, resurrected our lost city of New Vegas. Opening to a new world. Let's see, seven years ago, Mr. House rebuilt and organized the great city of New Vegas. Vault 21 rests in the middle of the Strip, and it was inevitable that it would become part of the city's bright future. Mr. House contacted our community and offered us to participate in the resurgence of New Vegas. Most Vault 21 dwellers refused the offer, however. Life was comfortable, safe, and fruitful in the Vault. We had grown so accustomed to the benefits of our isolated society that we could not conceive leaving it behind for an unknown future, teetering on a precarious balance. Still, there were some among us who disagreed with the prevailing wisdom. They challenged, on Mr. House's behalf, each of the vault levels representatives that supported continuing our isolation. According to the custom, a game would be set up where the winner would decide the course of the community's future. A game of blackjack was scheduled and held in this very level of Vault 21. After many hours of grueling struggle, Mr. House's supporters won in an extremely risky and fateful gambit. They decided to open up the doors to the outside world. The rest upheld our system and remained true to their promise to abide by the victor's decision. After almost 200 years within Vault 21's halls, we released the sills of the ancient doors. We opened to a new world. Well, congratulations, Vault 21, on that momentous step. And here's their tribute to Mr. House. Uh, you know, this is an important history here for vaults. There's hundreds of vaults, and we've got to learn the history of all of them if we could. Mr. House, with the help of the families, had transformed the mostly unharmed ruins of Las Vegas into a paradise. It resembled the city that we remembered thanks to the stories and items that our forefathers told and secured in the Vault 21 after the Cataclysm. We were awestruck and cautious at once. Slowly, we left the confines of the vault and settled within New Vegas, aiding in its reconstruction. Vault 21, a giant complex of functioning machinery, became a great source of materials with which to rebuild New Vegas. Mr. House stripped the vault and filled its empty husk with concrete, only leaving behind part of the vault's top level. This section is where you now find hospice, 
and where the warmth of our ancient home remains alive for all to enjoy. We have come to recognize the wisdom of Mr. House in forging a new and brighter future for all generations of New Vegas inhabitants. Without his leadership, the barren wasteland would have remained uncivilized, savage, and brutal for all time. We sincerely hope that you join us in celebrating the glory of New Vegas in the memory of Vault 21's legacy. Oh, tired of reading. Mail messaging. Let's see. Messages. Unregistered user. Network access denied. Pay up and try again. Thank you. Sent? Nope. Well, I'm not going to rent a room from you as much as you'd like me to. A tour of the vault. You know what? It's time for some night vision here. I... I really don't want to go explore the vault. I don't think it's going to be that interesting. I've seen vaults before. Door to Vault 21. Yeah, we're not going in there yet. Not yet. <clears throat> Maybe if a quest or something sends me. You know, what was her quest that she wanted me to do? I agreed to something for her. Wild card. Render under Kaiser. Wasteland. New Vegas bounties. Crazy crazy. Well, whatever. Where did you want me to go get your new st um, stuff at? Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like a room, see what you have for sale. I'd like to hear a vault hotel. Okay, goodbye. I'll see you later, Sarah. Um, we'll take the night vision off. And before we go any further, before we go out to kill Tom Quigley, I, I haven't forgot about that yet. We're gonna go see what NCR is up to over here. Maybe they'll they'll kill me. Who knows? NCR Military Police, Embassy of the New California Republic, New Vegas, Ambassador Dennis Crocker, representing the citizens of the Republic, at the request of Aaron Kimball, President of the Republic. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. You better watch your mouth, you're drunk, soldier. You don't know what you're saying, NCR Trooper. Anyone important out here? Military Police? Hello? I don't guess I can go into any of these hangars. Another NCR Trooper. I got doors there and doors here. Which doors work? Door to NCR Embassy. I'm a representative of the town of Junction. Maybe you've heard of me, NCR? We're not looking for protection by any means. What is Military it? police looks like he's got... Here, we'll talk to her from this side of the desk. It is Lisa O'Malley. Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? I really don't know yet. What can you tell me about the Embassy? The embassy offices are to your left, while the barracks and living quarters are to the right. If you're looking for a history lesson, I suggest you talk to Ambassador Crocker. I'm really not looking for a history lesson. Um, where is the ambassador, though? Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. I see. Why don't you spill all your beans about yourself, even though you don't know me? I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Didn't see that one coming. Ma'am? Lisa? Let's see. We'll check out some of this area. Private Jake Ewan. So you're the one that went into the Lucky 38. I bet that was pretty creepy. Not as creepy as what this can I do dark embassy. Where's your power at? What's happening on the Strip? Us troopers mostly come to the Strip for our R&R. &R. We blow off some steam by gambling, drinking, partying, or fighting. If you're looking for a good time, I'd suggest hitting up Gamora. The girls there are pretty nice, if you know what I mean. I see. Um, let's see. What do you know about the Ambassador? Sorry, I don't know much about him. We run in different circles, you know. Yep, I understand and respect that. Can you tell me anything about Captain Papas? If you're digging for dirt on the captain, you're digging in the wrong place. He's your boy, huh? Um, I don't want to play Hand of Caravan. It's been quite some time yeah. since I've played that. And to be honest, I don't really much care about playing games Hello? right now. I don't need the caps at all. What do we got here? Captain Mary Papas. Let's, um, there we go. Turn on the nights. I hear you've been Night meeting lights. with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hmm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? I am. Special or not, stay out of trouble, and more importantly, stay out of my way. <clears throat> I understand why the Brotherhood might have had problems with NCR. Let's see. What is happening? I'd like to know a little bit more about you, Miss Pappas. Look, I don't know you at all, and I'm not really interested in small talk. If you have something important to say, do so quickly. Um, apparently I don't have anything important to say. What's happening on the Strip? Ah, uh, people drink, gamble, and fight. What do you think happens on the Strip? 
Any other intelligent questions? No, my intelligence isn't giving me anything to ask here. What can you tell me about the Ambassador? If you want to know more about the Ambassador, go talk to him yourself. Feisty little thing, aren't you? Bye. Don't get shot in an alleyway. So let's see. He's back here somewhere. Yeah, they've got cattle prods. That's fancy. Bathroom. Didn't burst in on anyone. Anyone sleeping in here? Is this the ambassador's room by chance? Pre-war book, medical clip book. Bed is open, it says. Oh, wow. Look at all these pre-war books. I'm gonna have to steal some of this stuff. Once I, um... We won't go quietly. Legion can count on that. Once I get my academy built and set up. Can't steal anything from their fridge. And that's a little pantry back here, too. Damn it, all this food. Hello. I don't need the food anyways, though, do I? I mean, if we're being honest, I've got more than enough food. Anyone else important back here that can yell at me and be snarky? No, didn't think so. Apparently she was talking about her right, too, by the way. Damn, but the ambassador's on my right. On the right, I think she said. NCR military police, no. Ooh, Ambassador Philip Granger's final report. I ask you, my scared audience, where were you when the bombs fell? Me, I was deep inside the belly of an enormous beast, frightened and alone, peering through splayed fingers as humanity was burned out in a flashlight, charred toast. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that probably would destroy a robot's uh, psycho, psychological state. Sitting there watching the whole world explode, knowing that there's nothing he could do about it. A briefcase. Well, hello, Ambassador. Greetings, friend. Something I can help you with? Maybe. Let's see. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. Know more about the NCR? Not really. What's happening around the Strip? About that thing you wanted to talk about. Let's hear it. I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. The NCR is in a bit of a tight spot with all that's going on, and I need someone like you to help me. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Really? And if you prove to be a loyal and capable agent, well, let's just say there's a lot of work to be done. And the NCR is a good friend to have. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. Um, you know what? I'm heading up there anyways, I think. Let me see. I'll find them and talk to them. Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Um, let's see. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. What's happening around the Strip? What's happening? It's the same old stuff around here. Gambling, debauchery, drunkenness. It's all here. I'm getting a little old for it, however. If you want more information, try talking to some of the other guys around here. I don't get out of the office much anymore. Okay, let's see. I'd like to know more about the NCR. Tell me about yourself, Ambassador. What exactly do you do, Mr. Crocker? Interested in politics, huh? Well, grab a seat and get comfortable. Oh, God. What do I do? I've been in politics quite a while now. Always had the drive to do it, even when I was young. It's just something I was drawn to. I started my career over 20 years ago, back in the NCR as the local mayor, and worked my way up from there. I managed President Kimball's first run for a seat on the council. I suppose that's why I have this ambassadorship. I see. Go on. Don't stop. I was elected to this post seven years ago. I'm the third NCR representative to serve here in Vegas. Now, I've had my share of ups and downs along the way, but I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. That's it. Anything else you wish to know? Um, let's see. <clears throat> what do you know about the boomers? Are they, uh, what are they? Thanks for doing this. Remember, we need their resources to help us in the upcoming battle. Do whatever it takes. Oh, <sighs> tell me, no, I don't care about the NCR. I really Goodbye. don't. I know enough about them personally that I don't need to ask him and listen to him ramble on. If he was going to have a point to make, god dang it. You know what? Let's try this. I'm going to save it right here. We're going to grab that, that hollow tape there. I want to see exactly what it, what's on it. We're going to try this stealth field too. Let's see. X is for the stealth field. There we go. Stealth field active. Um, Ambassador Philip Granger's final report. 
Grabbed it. Doesn't look like anyone cares. So that should be right here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to read that whenever my pit boy is not... Well, I guess I can read it here. Let's see. Final report. Ambassador Philip Granger. Um, and Junket, you're doing your shit again. With my term here coming to a close, I'm taking a moment to reflect on my accomplishments here. Sadly, they are few and far between. The politics between the families and Mr. House have made it incredibly difficult to deal with any of them. The Omertas are a group of sleazy lowlifes pretending to be something they aren't. The White Glove Society gives me the creeps. There's something strange going on with them, and I'm not sure what I want to know. I'm not sure I want to know what it is. The chairmen are thugs that dress themselves up in fancy suits pretending to be cool. I'm surprised that they've lasted this long without killing each other, although it's probably due to Mr. House and his Securitrons. We have to work, uh, we have our work cut out for us here. I wish my team here was more fruitful than it was, but I'm glad to be returning to the NCR. And that was Philip Granger's final transmission. So yep, this is, um, our stealth field generator, our nanobots that we've got. And we can use them once, and then we have to recharge them somehow. I'm not exactly sure what it takes. Probably an energy cell. There we go. And we're back. Doesn't last that long either, does it? What is this? I know I know you're there, Junkie. I can hear you. Door to Michael... Put my glasses on. Door to Michael Angelo's workshop. Let's see what inventions this genius has. He's got an entire wasteland to work with, scrap-wise. He should be able to come up with something quite amazing. 